Hello and welcome back to Ray Coffee. Today I will be talking to you about espresso. Uh, this is my favorite um, is, uh, coffee type. Um, it's Italian origin. Nobody knows the guy or the woman who came up with um, the espresso, but they know it started in Italia. And um, the focus is a lot of coffee, a little bit of water, high pressure. Um, and you want to make sure it's high pressure so you get that syrupy flavor, syrupy consistency, um, and high caffeine level of coffee. This was created around um, the early 1900s and took over in Europe after the percolator. Um, so let's dive in and I'm going to show you two different ways of making espresso at home. Um, the percolator and the AeroPress. The percolator is, there's some controversy around it and people say that, oh, the percolator is not a way to make espresso, but it's a cheap way to make espresso because you can get a percolator for $5 at a bodega and things like that. Um, but the AeroPress is the level up from that and it's cheaper and quicker. So let's dive in and see. So now for the espresso, we have the AeroPress and the percolator. The percolator is the older one, uh, which was developed and widely known about 1800s. And the AeroPress is fairly new, um, came out with the third wave of coffee. So AeroPress is focused on pressure it's more like an espresso hand device hand pump that you've seen those um and the percolator cycles the coffee uh, the water on the bottom and pushes up through the coffee grounds and out through the top now for the percolator you're not you don't have to do finely ground coffee but that's how you can get your espresso roast coffee so let's focus on the aeropress for now so for the aeropress there are multiple parts. You have a filter, which goes in here. And you have the two. And then you have the hand pump where you push the coffee through the water. The hand pump where you push the water through the coffee. Now, before you want to push, you're going to stir it, make sure all your grounds are liquidy, fluidy, all that good stuff. So we're going to try this with Bustelo, which is a very generic um, dark rose espresso ground coffee. And we're going to try that also on the percolator so we can get a consistency and know what we really want. So our water should be up to a boil in a second. And we're gonna put roughly two tablespoons on top here of finely ground coffee. Like I said, I'm using Bustelo. I want to see rice and even. Our boiling water. gauge to what you want you want to be quick in this movement here because it's going to start leaking through so once you put it in here it's going to suction that negative pressure and it's going to keep it in the tunnel you're going to keep it there for about 10 seconds and then you're just going to push it through my favorite part of the aeropress is that you get that crema that you get from an espresso machine. And fill it up, just like that. Now the percolator is very simple. I'm gonna open it up here. My rule of thumb is if your percolator doesn't look like this, no matter how much you clean it, um, you're not doing your coffee right. So there is an inner filter here that pops out. This is where you're gonna put your coffee. Your water goes in here and your coffee is gonna come out through here. There's also another filter here that your coffee is gonna come out through on top. 
So we're gonna fill this on these two. We're gonna fill this up. Once you fill this up, you're gonna fill it up up to that valve there. You're gonna put in your coffee tray. Say it's roughly two and a half tablespoons of coffee. Unlike in a regular espresso machine, you're not gonna compact it. But you are gonna even it out. You're gonna attach this and you're gonna put it on yourself. So let's go do that. It's quick most of the time. Um, percolator takes a while, but an AeroPress takes about a minute. Um, you have a high level 15 bar um, home espresso machine, then you can have uh, espresso, macchiato, something like that in about five minutes. So the pros of espresso is that it's great, tastes good, um, it's highly caffeinated. But the cons are is that it's a way higher learning curve than you're gonna have with the pour over, let's say, or um, an AeroPress and things like that. Um, espresso is not easy, and it's also harder to learn. So, and there goes the percolator. Um, as you can see, the crema has come up on the top. As you know, there's a lot of um, carbon dioxide in espresso because there's not that much um, aeration and my opinion though it is the best coffee so thank you for watching and stay caffeinated